kid of Ayar's wife stood at the door for a while waiting for Lalita. Then she sat on the paddy for a while and watched. If any men pass along the road, she will immediately get up and stand in the street. She went in and out of the house twice. Saraswati Amma was distraught when she finally saw Lalita coming with the letter in her hand and with tears in her eyes and the postman Balakrishnan as her companion. He ran and hugged the child, sister. What is the matter? What I was afraid of is gone. Balakrishna. Why is the child crying? Has it fallen? She screamed. Due to mental confusion, she did not even notice the neighboring boys standing at the door. When Amma heard this, Lalita's anxiety increased. But Balakrishnan said, It's nothing, mother. Some letter has arrived from Bombay. The child is crying after reading it. He said. That's it? What is written in the letter? Lalita. Whatever it is, why are you crying? asked Saraswati Amma. When there was no response from Lalita, Saraswati Amal got angry. Someone's dead and lost? I'll take care of it myself if you don't tell me. She snatched the letter from Lalita's hand. After taking a bath in Kala's well, he came to the house and came out after hearing the commotion at the door. Thinking that his wife would beat Lalita for not listening to what he said, she said, Inda Saresu. If you want to beat a child, do you have to stand in the street to make four people laugh and beat you? Come inside, pull the door, lock it and beat it to death, not in the street. I neither hit nor killed your child. She was crying when she came from Tabalabis. Since she did not answer the question, I thought I would take the letter she had brought and read it. By then you come and say you are beating and killing. You and your girl should go anyway. Kid of Ayar, not caring at all about his wife's anger, said, Balakrishna. What is Samasara? Why is the child crying? He asked. After telling the details of it, he got the answer and went back to Topolabis. If Ayar asks for coffee at home, he comes ready to eat. But seeing the commotion there, he immediately returned. When he reached Topolabis, he said, Sir. Is Padamani Yamkid of Ayar so gentle? The samsara he has been given is a very bad mother, sir. How many things she has done in a short time? He said. What are you saying, Balakrishna? Kid of Ayar Samsaram Parama Sage of Ayat? I don't know where it is. I have been there so many times and I have never even heard that mother's voice. Naidu said. That's your bad luck, sir. If you had come today, you would have seen it. Oh father! Thadagai Serpanagai has left everyone. He has a hard time tying up all the girls. Balakrishnan said. Balakrishna! Listen to me. You are celibate, so you don't know this. Every female child has Tadaka and Serpanika. Similarly there is Lakshmi and Saraswati and Siddha and Arundhati. Whoever Purusha calls, they will come out. If you want Serpanika, Serpanika will come. If you want Siddha, Siddha will come. Thinking of some crazy idea. Don't suffer for food without getting married. Naidu said. Well, you're saying that getting married is for cooking. Here Kid of Ayar caressed her child lovingly and asked, Lalita. Why are you crying? What is written in the letter, mother? He asked. Lalita held Vimal and Thambal with pain and said, Father. Auntie is not very well, Siddha has written. Here is a letter for you two and handed them the two letters she had brought. Kitavaya first read a letter. Immediately his eyes began to water. He went inside and leaned on the reclining chair. Saraswati Amma said in a soft voice for a while, Let's eat. She said. Kitavaya remained silent as if he had not heard it. Why are you worried? What is written in the letter? Saraswati asked again. Rajat is not well, said Kitavayar. What if it doesn't get better? It goes away on its own. Are you going to go without eating for this? Come on. The children are sitting down to eat. 
No, Suresu. Let the children eat, I can't get any food now. Raja is very sick, typhoid is so bad, I have to survive. I have to survive. They wrote a letter like this last year too. If you go and look, there is nothing. I will spend 400 and 500 rupees on you. They seem satisfied. Hearing this, Kid of Ayar got up angrily from his reclining chair. 